Mia Shallot has learned a lot between the posts. Some of those biggest lessons had nothing to do with soccer. I had a teammate when I first started that, that didn't have cleats and they had to be provided by the Federation. Um, so just on that end, being a little bit more grateful. And came from thousands of miles away. My mom's Peruvian, so she was born in Peru. She moved to the States when she was 15, I think. A connection that deepened with a national team tryout when she was just 13. They were like, come out to Peru, we'll see what we can do. Um, I was there for three weeks and they asked me when I could have my passport ready. And suddenly, an American teenager was thrust into a new identity, Peruvian national teamer. I think people kind of caught on pretty quickly. Um, they still call us gringas. It was one she embraced quickly. Diving saved by Mia Shallot. Earning a call up to the senior national team this past summer. I had never really met the new coach that they have, so it was kind of a shock. I was like, okay, cool, let's go see if I can make something happen. My experience this summer has probably been one of the biggest I've had. Shallot is now an ambassador for a country's growing revolution in women's sports. These teams have followings now, which they didn't really have before. Seeing that come in the past few years is, is huge. And perhaps steeper than that, Two, three, so a representative of a Peruvian expat population that numbers roughly 90,000 in California alone. Um, I think the Peruvian outside of Peru is very big now. As she finds herself shaped by two cultures, American and Peruvian. Coming from here, from like, you know, growing up in Chula Vista and seeing something completely different and then heading down there um, to Peru, it was just um, something that I probably wouldn't get anywhere else. But shared by one identity and eight yards between goalposts. Is, uh, really is such an international sport. It know? is. Yeah. You're right. Hornets uh, women's soccer, by the way, has their senior weekend tonight and on Sunday, so uh, you can check her out. Mia is just a junior, so she'll be back uh, playing with Sac State for a little while longer.